Big win Saturday for South Dakota as they get past North Dakota, 14-10. to 10, Their fourth-ranked victory <laughs> of the season. Their third against a top-10 team on the year. And I know those are things you like to hear, Coach. But uh, this one did not get, <laughs> off, get off to the greatest of starts. The opening kickoff, they call it the most exciting play in football for a reason, which it is, unless you're on the wrong side of it. And unfortunately for you guys, Red Wilson took that one back 99 yards for a touchdown to give them an early lead. Your kick coverage has been outstanding all year long. What broke down here? Yeah, you know, as the as the kickoff coverage coach, I got to take all the blame on that one. Uh, you know, we, we've been good on that unit. I actually put the ball in a good spot. I had a couple guys get out of their lanes, and North Dakota does a good job. You know, they, they did the same thing in North Dakota State on the opening kickoff, which was a big play in that game. Um, you know, we did a better job as the game went on, uh, but uh, good job by them and, and uh, not, not well executed on our part. Now, offensively, uh, moving the football wasn't a problem for you on this day. In fact, uh, each of your first four possessions you took into UND territory, unfortunately, just unable to finish the drives. You, you had to punt it once, turn it over on downs once, fumbled once, throw it. That's about every way you cannot finish a drive right there. So uh, what, what was it about that? Just, just that last little bit of those things. Couldn't quite get over the hump for the first part of this game. Yeah, that was uncharacteristic of us uh, as well. You know, we, we've been really good at finishing drives. And, you know, turnovers, uh, uh, to have two turnovers, and not just two turnovers, but to have two turnovers in the end zone, mm -hmm. uh, really, that took points away uh, is something that we just can't have offensively. We had a fourth and one uh, that we need to be able to convert uh, to keep that drive alive. And... Um, you know, we just weren't quite in sync, um, and uh, um, you know, sometimes that happens. And you, you offensively, you just got to keep after it, uh, which I thought we did. Uh, and particularly, uh, that showed up in the second half with those two big drives. Yeah, finally did get into the end zone late in the third quarter on Keandre Jones' uh, two-yard touchdown run. How did that first touchdown change the dynamic on your sideline? Well, we talked about, uh, uh, well, at halftime, we talked about, hey, you know, it was going to be our ball. Um, only down 10 nothing. Uh, plenty of opportunity. We had to keep believing, keep doing what we were doing, which was playing great defense, uh, put, ball, put the, the ball in the end zone when we had the opportunity to do that. And um, that drive uh, uh, to get us back to 10-7 gave us a lot of momentum. Mm -hmm. I think you could feel that even on the next drive when we had all those penalties and that we overcame those to be able to score again. Yeah, and, and that was a 12-play, 81-yard drive. <laughs> Ended up being a little longer than maybe yeah. it would have otherwise in terms of duration just because of those penalties. That included a questionable offensive pass interference uh, call against Jack Martins. But uh, even when you were backed up, finished that drive, Charles Pierre gets in for a 10-yard touchdown. Just like that, you guys have the lead for the first time on the day. Yeah, and that's what great defense does. You know. Great defense keeps you in the game. Uh, once we got the lead, you know, you could just feel it on our sideline, the confidence in our ability to close that game out, uh, both defensively and offensively. Um, you know, and, and that's what uh, I think one of the big differences. People ask me the difference between this year and last year. Uh, we got a team that believes they can win and believes that we will win, and uh, they find ways to do that. I would add to that that they complement each other. Each phase complements each other. Uh, you know, in a game like this, uh, North Dakota came in averaging over 34 points a game, nearly 400 yards of total offense. Your offense struggling to get points on the board. Defense stands up, only allows three all day. Yeah, great defense. Uh, keeping them out of the end zone uh, was, a, was a great challenge. And, and defensively, not only do we keep them out of the end zone, really, I don't know if they ever really got the ball inside the 20-yard line all day. So, um, you know, we played well all three levels, uh, played consistently. And then offensively, particularly in the second half, you know, we really dominated the possession. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the ball, we kept it away from them, uh, doing the things that we needed to do. Um, you know, if we would have put a couple of those balls in the end zone in the first half, you know, might the score might have been different, but the outcome would have still been the same, and that's a win for our club. Uh, that's four one-score wins up yeah. here. You want to be a good football team, figure out a way to win games that are like that, too, and, and you guys certainly have done that this year. Yeah, you know, winning close games is always, uh, you know, uh, something that sometimes is is as much mental as it is physical, and, and our guys have that level of confidence right now uh, and belief in each other. All right. One more to go. Western Illinois to close the season. You guys are in position to get a, a seed in the in the FCS playoffs. Uh, could be a, a top four, top five seed, depending on what happens this weekend. So 
what's the approach as you as you enter this final week of the regular season? Well, I told our guys in the locker room, you know, we we got, we still got a chance to play for a conference championship. Obviously, we need help, um, but uh, but from our standpoint, uh, the way we can put ourselves in that position is to win on Saturday, and so we've got to play it like a championship game. Um, go down there. Uh, take some of the areas that maybe we needed to be better in on Saturday, be better in those areas, uh, keep playing the way that we're playing in, in some of those other areas that we've been playing well. Uh, this is a difficult place to play. Uh, it's always a difficult trip. Um, and our guys uh, uh, will understand that this is a big game for us for a lot of uh, lot of reasons and, and we'll need our best effort. Yep, wrap it up Saturday afternoon in Macomb. We'll take a closer look at the matchup with the Leathernecks coming up later this week.